Okay, so the part that this basically summarizes what I just talked about, cumulative preferred shares, non-cumulative preferred stock. The non-cumulative part dividends not paid in prior years do not carry on to following year. It doesn't accumulate, okay? As opposed to that, for the most cases, preferred shares, anything that they didn't get this year, that company didn't declare, reaches the amount that they are supposed to get in this year. That part will carry on to following year. And the missing part is what we call sometimes in the problems you will see dividends in arrears. Okay, the dividends in arrears, passing dividends, that basically means that difference that they didn't get. Okay, so that $1,000 will be the dividends in arrears. Next year, preferred shareholders will be getting 7000 instead. Okay, so cumulative preferred shareholders, they must receive all the dividends that they did not get from previous years that was accumulated before common shareholders right is considered at all. Okay, so this is part of the benefits for purchasing preferred stock. Usually the face value is higher for preferred shareholders. When they purchase each share, oftentimes it's about 10 times or even more. Uh, the value that they need to provide to companies is a lot, a lot of times for each share is a lot higher than common shares. Okay, so the right they receive, this is part of it. Dividends, they will be considered first. And if the company goes out of business, liquidation value of assets they also receive first. And then common shareholders' right is considered. Okay, so these are the benefits to preferred shares. Now, for all the problems, unless you see non-cumulative stated, otherwise you can just assume all the preferred shares are cumulative, meaning the dividends carries on, okay, unless it speci specifies that it's not. Otherwise, usually the case is cumulative preferred shares. Thank <laughs> you. 